So you've just been gifted Book Creator. Book Creator is a fantastic app for creating books. What's really good about it is that you can bring in lots of things from different things that you have done for different subjects, different pieces of work that you have done for different subjects and put them all into one document. What's also really handy about it is it's easy to share that document and what also is really really good is that you can actually collaborate on that document with your friends so you can do a bit of the book and your friends can do another bit and so forth and so on. So let's have a little look. When you open up Book Creator for the first time, uh, you'll be taken to a short tutorial here, and I highly recommend you have a look through that. Uh, I'll run through some of the basics with you myself, though, uh, like so. So to start a new book, uh, you just tap on New Book in the top left-hand corner, and you then get to choose different uh, layouts. Okay. Uh, so I will go with a landscape layout to start with and <clears throat> once you're in there it's then just a case of putting in what you want to be in your book so we're looking at the front cover first of all so you could go through to your uh, pictures and pull yourself through a uh, picture for your front cover I'll just choose a, a nice little wallpaper like that and then you can put your title on whatever your title for your book is you can move where you want it so tap in the TT on the toolbar at the top will get you your text the I just a bit further across your inspector that's where you make all your changes uh, irrespective of what you're working with whether it's your picture or anything else like that if you tap on that I it will enable you to make changes so I can make my font bigger uh, I can change my font to whatever it is that I want it to be. Uh, so let's just choose this one for argument's sake. Uh, I could also make it a different colour if I wanted to, line it up different, make it bold, so forth, and so on. If I stretch it across, I can then make it like so. Using two fingers, if I tap onto there, I can also then uh, rotate how that looks. So if I rotate it a bit, then move it down to the middle. And you'll notice as you line things up, so you get guides showing you when you're in the centre. So that's bang in the centre now, so I'll leave it there. Tap on the arrow on the right hand side and you'll get a new page. Before I do that though, I'm just going to go on to the uh, little music symbol next to the inspector. There I can add a recording to my book. So I'm going to add a recording to my book. I tap the uh, record symbol, that's a red button. Welcome to my book. Now what I can do, okay, is uh, make that a bit bigger and put it there like so. And what I can do is go onto the inspector again and I can just make it uh, invisible in iBooks. What that means is, is that when I finally finish my book, if someone's viewing my book in iBooks, then what they can do simply is just tap onto my book, uh, where I've got the uh, symbol there, and it will play what I've said. Okay? So, we can carry on going through our book, we can add more pages in by tapping on the arrow on the right hand side, so forth and so on, and that will add extra pages in and we just fill it in. It's really really simple. Once we've filled our pages in we can tap on pages on the left hand side at the top and that will show us the different pages that are in our book and we can move those around if we want to from one place uh, to another. And to get back to our main page, our, our main introduction page where we first got into Book Creator, if we tap onto My Books you can then see the different books that are there. In this view, I always recommend you actually give your book a name and tell it who the author is, so forth and so on. To do that, we tap on where it says a new book and we can give it a name. And you can give it an author name. So forth and so on. Uh, or if you don't like it anymore, you could always just delete the book. From here, you can do different things as well. So what if you're working in a collaborative uh, style on a book and you want someone to um, work on it? Well, you can send your book off to people in different ways. Uh, let's imagine someone sent you a book and uh, it's on Dropbox. 
So they're giving you the Dropbox link and you go to the folder where it is and this is called the product lifecycle. There it is. So you'll just import that, uh, sorry, import that straight into Book Creator. That will bring the book in like so and you can just begin editing it then. So there's your page with the book in and, and you can add your bits in, you can tweak and change whatever it is you want to happen in that book and then you can send it off. Now the way in which you get your book out of Book Creator to send to your teacher at the end of the whole process of making your book is to tap on the arrow in the top right hand corner, you'll recognize that symbol it's used um, a lot in many many apps uh, as a symbol to represent what uh, the way in which you will get something off your iPad to share it so tap on there and then you can see the different ways in which you can get that off so it could be that you send it um, just to your iBook so you can read it and use it and so forth and so on or you can put it onto Dropbox or you can send it off uh, email it so forth and so on so there you go that's Book Creator have some fun